Hello, welcome to the Seafood Analytics Dashboard. This is data that's coming in from Dutch Harbor up in Alaska. And this is an example of what your custom made dashboard would look like. So to start out with, you can select a species that might be your type. And you also have control over selecting dates. And so you can pick, you can pick preset ones or you can, you can go back and look at specific ones. What your data looks like when it comes in is data is streaming in automatically. So once new data is added, new data points automatically get inputted onto your dashboard for instantaneous real-time analysis. What we're looking at right now is the fat index over time. We can overlay this with a water index to look at body composition parameters and how they change over time. We can look at a water soak index. How much is your product being soaked or diluted by solutions that it's in? We can look at protein. And then we can also look at, at quality. And so if you notice here, on the second offload, the quality was below a threshold that was set. By clicking on that data, you can it opens up a box which gives you all the data surrounding that data point. And so this looks like it was coming from a supplier named Goofy. So then we can track Goofy and see what's going on with the supplier named Goofy. Here we can look at comparisons from all of our different groups. Here's Goofy right here. And we can see who's producing our best quality fish and who's producing our worst quality fish. By selecting Goofy right here over on the left hand side, we can track Goofy's record and see how Goofy has been producing throughout the whole season. And again, all these data points are available just by double clicking on one of the points. And they can be exported down here. You might want to know your sample sizes, and so we have a convenient sample size counter that lets you know how many measurements were taken each day. And again, these are exportable also. So there is the Seafood Analytics dashboard, um, what you might expect if you're in the C